Okay, so I want to talk about how we can interpret blood work that we, we receive whenever it's pertaining to the liver in specific, um, how we can read liver enzyme values um, and see if we really have something that's going on with the liver. So first off, um, most of you are familiar with the two liver enzyme values, AST and ALT. Um, now I want to talk a little bit about where those come from. So a normal healthy liver is not going to have high levels of AST and ALT. Why that is, is because of the liver cell itself, which is also known as the hepatocyte. So in this hepatocyte is where these AST and ALT enzymes are contained. They're contained in these cells. It's only when these cells are lysed, um, they're broken open by damage to the liver, is whenever we start to see these ALT and AST enzymes um, coming out into the blood, which is how we get a reading on them. So when the liver is damaged, we start to see these hepatocytes die, and whenever these cells die is whenever they release these enzymes uh, such as AST and ALT. And then that's when we start to see a higher elevation in those enzyme values. So these results of having elevated liver enzyme values only show us how much liver inflammation there is currently present. It doesn't show us how well the liver is currently functioning. And we can use an example of this by saying if we have a liver that is so damaged that it cannot be damaged any further, um, technically its AST and ALT values would be low because there's no more, there's no more of the hepatocytes uh, to die and then release these enzymes. So we're gonna get a low reading but at that point, the liver is obviously not going to be functioning properly. So whenever it comes to specific blood work interpretation, um, we usually look at AST and ALT. So an important thing to notice about the difference in these two is that AST is actually produced in many tissues in the body, while ALT is predominantly produced in the liver. And we can remember this by um, the fact that ALT has an L in it, we can say L reminds us of liver um, to remind ourselves that ALT is, has more association with the liver. So what this means is that if we get blood work back with high AST values or low or normal ALT values, it's not very likely that there is um, some sort of damage to liver going on because these AST values can also be correlated to things um, like muscle breakdown um, or other functions that can be going on in the body at the same time. While if we have a result of high ALT values but low or normal AST values, um, it's more likely at that point that we do have some sort of liver damage or inflammation going on and it's worth checking out. So to summarize, ALT is more indicative of liver issues unless we're talking um, something that's very specific, which is known as alcoholic liver disease. In alcoholic liver disease, um, it's actually very common to see AST values be twice as much as ALT liver enzyme values. Now I wanna go over a couple of other blood work results that we could have that could be in relation to the liver. Um, ALP, so ALP is also present, present in other tissues in the body. So if this is elevated, again, it's not a complete indication that there is something wrong with the liver. Uh, we would have to look at um, something like ALT, for instance. GGT can be more associated with the liver and also the biliary system, which includes things like the bile duct and the gallbladder. So if GGT is elevated, that may indicate that there is damage to the liver or even uh, the gallbladder or the bile duct. Um, again, we can pair this with other testing such as ALT um, to get a more specific answer because GGT is also present uh, as an enzyme in other tissues in the body as well. Amylase and lipase are more specific uh, blood work results to the pancreas, um, with amylase being also present in saliva, actually. So if amylase is high, it's not a direct indication that there is a problem in the pancreas. However, if you have high lipase values, um, that is pretty likely that you do have something uh, going on with your pancreas. So with all these different blood work markers that we can use to try and track our health of our liver, um, it's important to remember that things, if certain things are high such as AST or ALP without having an indication that something like GGT or ALT are high, um, this probably doesn't mean that we have something 
uh, specific to liver damage going on. In order to clarify that we have liver damage, um, we need to look at those more specific enzymes that occur in the liver, such as ALT, to give us a better sign if we do have something going on there. And of course, with the pancreas, if you have elevated levels of lipase, um, that's probably a good indicator that there is something uh, negative going on with the pancreas.